what's going on YouTube this is new for me I've never done anything like this before um, but there seems to be a bit of a need for it so in discord we have now reached over a thousand members in Bush League Legends uh, and it seems that everyone's coming for the modifications to the X Cub, the different variants of the X Cub, the liveries, whatever it may be. And there seems to be a lot of questions of why isn't this working? <laughs> so uh, the whole point of this video is to uh, show how I go about putting the modifications into the sim. Um, this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. So I'm sorry if the video is... <laughs> terrible uh but either way you should be able to get the basics of how to do this yourself um if you like this type of content please let me know down in the comments below um let me know if there's anything else you want to see that i can maybe try and put together for you um and i think because it's a youtube video i need to say something like like and subscribe anyways um let's get right into it so we're looking at my desktop here uh, a couple things i want to show you first off um i'm going to open both my community folder and then my downloads folder because I want to do this from scratch for you. So uh, as you can see in my community folder here, I've got nothing here except for the working title mod um, just because I didn't want to remove that, take it back in uh, because it works flawlessly with the cub for the most part. Just want to point out though that the community folder for you, depending on whether you downloaded from Steam, uh, the Microsoft Store, Let's just say those two, because um, I'm sure nobody downloaded Untoward. But your community folder may be anywhere. But either way, this is where you need to put your modifications. Uh, the other thing I'm showing you here is my downloads folder. I really want to show you that I haven't downloaded anything yet. I want to do this from scratch. I want you to be able to see it from step one. Uh, the other thing I want to show you here is Microsoft Flight Simulator itself. So uh, I just wanna show you that if I go into the world map and I go to select my aircraft, uh, you can see that there's no other um, X-Cub variants or anything in here. Even if I go and click on the X-Cub, this is literally just the default X-Cub with no liveries. I'm gonna show you the liveries as well. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna close that up so you saw that. So what I'm actually gonna show you here is how to install the performance mod of the default Cub so that it flies a lot more like the real thing. Um, but I'm also gonna show you the different variants of the Cubs uh, that our very own Carbon Prop has developed, created, whatever you wanna call. So we're going to look at the Tundra Tire Cub, which is 35 inch uh, tires. We're gonna look at the Tundra with the cargo pod that gives you an auxiliary fuel tank in case you're traveling farther distances, as well as some extra storage um, if you need to add some weight in there. Uh, as well, we're going to look at the Alpine, so the ski version, if you want to go fly up in the mountains and get on some snow. And I think what I'll do is I'll also show you how to install the very alpha, very beta float version of the Cub. Um, and if you aren't aware, uh, SimTom from the Microsoft Flight Simulator official Twitch stream was actually flying it uh, a little while ago and uh, gave a shout out to Carbon Prop, which is maybe even how you found Bush League Legends and, uh, and the community itself. So, um, you know what, and I'll show you how to install the liveries as well, because I saw some questions in there about the liveries. One thing I want to say um, about the liveries is that if you've downloaded the mega pack, uh, the, the all well-known mega pack of liveries, you need to remove the X cub liveries from that pack from your community folder. Otherwise you won't be able to see any of the extra liveries for whatever reason they bump heads and it just doesn't work. So let's get started. I'm going to open up a browser. I'm going to go to Bush league legends dot com um, this is our home page you can find any information about uh i guess the sponsors the the journey which is our around the world trip but that's not why we're here so over here on the right hand side you'll see the add-on section if you click on msfs this brings you to where all our add-ons are located uh one thing i want to point out there's no ads on our site. We do not make any money off this. Everything is freeware. So if you see a download link, it is a legit download link. It will take you to Mega, which is where we have all our downloads come from. Um, but either way, it is a real download link. You're not, not going to click on it. It's not an ad. It's not going to send you to God knows where. Um, so there's a few different things here. We've got a lot of custom scenery. This is where our liveries are held. This is the where the performance mods are held, as well as the aircraft. So uh, let's look at at 
the performance mod to start. So you'll see, right, we just recently launched uh, an updated checklist. Uh, and now I feel terrible. Oh, Charlie Foxtrot right there. Charlie Foxtrot uh, did the checklist for us and, and with community help, got it into the sim. Not going to focus on that right now. If you want to fly the default X-Cub uh, with just the regular size tires, but you want to fly one that flies more like the real thing, this is what you want. So we have two versions. We've got the 180 horsepower. We've got the 215 horsepower. I will say that ever since the 215 horsepower version came out, nobody uses the 180, but it's there for you if you want it. So I'm going to click download. It's going to redirect me to Mega where the actual download will take place. I click download easy as that so while that's doing that and it's actually already done let's go back uh, i'm going to do the liveries because it's the biggest file um so i'm going to download this while i download the other stuff so either way uh all we need to do right now is download the lex legends x cub pack a i'm going to click download and save Actually, these are going nice and quick because I've downloaded them in the past. But either way, that's a, this is a large file, uh, and I'll show you how to extract them and so on. Um, but for if you're downloading that for the first time, it's a little bit fat longer than that. Normally, we would have a Legends Pack B. However, this has actually been updated to have all of our all of our um, liveries. You can see there's 67 custom liveries in there. And now, what I mentioned earlier was that you can't have the X Cub liveries from the Mega Pack. But we've got you covered because we've got the signature X pack, which is some of the liveries from that folder. I don't know if there's been, uh, sorry, from that mega pack file. I don't know if there's been updates since then, um, but there's 14 variations that are from that as well. So we'll go and download this. This is going to solve the issue of I'm in the sim. I've got my liveries, but no one else can see me in it. He here's the issue with that. If you have it installed, but someone else doesn't have that version of the cub or that version of the livery installed, it just doesn't speak to each other. You're not going to see it. Um, but if you both, if, if you go in to do a group flight and you all have the liveries, you all have the right variants downloads, you're going to see the livery. You're going to see the Tundra tri tires, whatever the case may be. So let's look at the aircrafts here. So this is where you're going to find your different variants on the X-Cub themselves. So here's the Tundra, 35-inch tires. Let's download that. There we go. The X-Cub Tundra cargo. So you can see 35-inch tires again, but there's the cargo pod for some extra storage, some extra weight, and also uh, an extra fuel tank. You'll see an auxiliary fuel tank in your uh, fuel section within the sim if you want to fly some further distances. So we'll download that. And I'm doing this in real time for you rather than trying to cut a big video together uh, because I want you to see how easy and how quick this can actually be. Um, I would be pretty well done if I wasn't talking in between this. Um, but either way, here's the Alpine. So we'll download this as well. And then here's the regular Cub that would use the performance mod, um, but it's got the cargo pod there. So if you don't like the big tires, uh, not a problem, but we can still get you greater distances with that auxiliary tank and the extra storage for water, clothes, sleeping stuff, whatever you want. Uh, and we'll download that as well. Let's just download it all. So there we go. So those are all downloaded. Um, and here they all are in basically ready to be unzipped so this you cannot copy these and put them in the community folder they will not work you know what one other thing i'm going to show you is here's the bush league legends discord if you are interested in the float version of the x cub you need to join the discord it's down in the description of the video um, and you would want to find x cub dev releases if you click on that, this is where you're going to find the file and the information for the float version. Now, like I said, this is in alpha, beta, whatever you want to call it. They, there is no animations, there's no cabling, but it is a functional version of a float plane uh, that works in the sim. So I'm going to download this as well. Why not? We'll just download it all and show you everything.
So there we go, and we'll save that. Now again, like I said, these are going a lot faster for me because I've downloaded them in the past, uh, but either way, you're gonna be able to do that. So let's get that out of the way. So we've got it all right here. So this is what I wanna show you because this is important. The, whether you use WinRare like I do, whether you use 7-Zip, WinZip, whatever the case may be, how you extract and what you put into the community folder matters. So this is how I do it. I actually go down and I go extract to Xcub. So what this does is it actually creates a new folder that houses everything else inside it. So for me, if I click on this, this is what I see. This is the file um, that I would need to, to copy over to community. If I were to copy this file over like that, it's not gonna work in the SIM. It will not show up. That's not how the SIM reads it. So I actually need to go in and I need to copy this over. Now, the easiest way to know if you're copying the right folder over is if you click on this and you don't see all of this immediately, you haven't copied the right thing over. If you click on this and now you see your sim objects, your effects and all these different pack files, that's what you need to copy over. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for all of them. We'll do these all quickly here. Here we go. Now the livery packs will take a little bit longer. Have I done the Tundra? Now this may not be the most efficient way to do it. This is just how I do it. Um, so you, you know, do it whatever way works for you. The only thing that matters is what you copy over into your, um, into your community folder. So I've already done the performance. So I can go into the float. There we go. If I click into this folder, everything's here. So I know that this is the folder I need to copy over. Go back into my downloads. There's the Tundra, copy that over. Uh, I'll look into the livery pack. So the livery pack is exactly the same. So if I look at this, I can't copy this folder over. I need to click in. There's everything I need to copy over. So I'll copy that folder over. There we go. Uh, let's, we'll get the signature pack. So again, I'm doing this all in real time. Uh, of course, <laughs> I'm doing it the way it works for me, but if it doesn't work for you this way, that is totally fine. So there we go. So I mean, I can do some counting or whatever. To, to make sure that I know that everything's copied over though, I can just double click, nothing in here. It, it means I likely have it over here. Double click, and this is just me kind of verifying the work that I did because I did do it uh, quickly. So everything looks good. Perfect. So that to me, that's it. Those mods are installed right now. Uh, and the best way to look at this is boom, there you go. Now what I would say when you're installing these modifications, do not overwrite. Always delete the variant or the uh, signature pack of liveries. Delete it out and always go with a fresh copy over copy and paste cut over whatever if you if you drag over and overwrite it's possible that if there is an old file in there that was causing issues it may stay there so always just delete what was in there and bring in the new stuff so if i look at this now so everything's in there this should all be good to go um, i can actually depending on when you want delete all that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up Microsoft Flight Simulator. Okay guys, so here we are back in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, I just wanted to show you this quickly. So now if I go into world map, here we are. So if we go into aircraft selection, now I can see the Tundra cargo, the Tundra, the float doesn't have uh, an icon or kind of a thumbnail created because it is in uh, beta still, but you can see there X cub float. There's the cargo version of the regular cub. Now this would be the 215 horsepower performance the way uh, I installed it. That's what you would see. Here's the Alpine version. Here's the regular version of the X cub with the 215 horsepower mod in it. If I click on liveries, boom, there we go all what 67 plus 14 81 liveries are in here now um that livery pack is always being updated um the variants or a different uh 
mods and updates and upgrades to the planes all get updated typically on Saturday uh, and notification goes out into the discord if anything needs to be changed but there you go guys that's pretty much it um, hopefully that helps you out uh, as much as possible if you have questions please drop them down in the comments like i said if you like this type of content and you want to see a little bit more put that down in the comments as well and i'll try and do whatever i can for you other than that for me guys um that's going to be it enjoy the journey out there peace